Chris knows Charles how to make his special shade traces that he makes. He's been making them since he was a kid, he tells me. So, uh, here we go, Craigie, over to you. Beach now, we're about to fish. We're going to fish over here. And uh, this is a way to set yourself up, your little base camp. You have your natural fishing rod holders right here. And uh, you put your uh, rods into the sand, don't push them too hard. And then you can work on your tackle uh, uh, instead of having to hold your rod and your rod is lying in the sand. Okay, so uh, over here, have a very medium outfit. Um, okay, that's the trace that we're using today. It's just a piece of trace wire, fiber hook and a swivel. Okay, make sure it's... Uh, good luck because these fish are quite strong and you'd have to use the trace wire because um, shad have quite abrasive teeth and they'll cut right through your normal fishing line. Okay so here you have your uh, sort of couple of extra chasers, um, that's a couple of little bit of tackle here, some pliers, we need some uh, pliers for getting the hook out and uh, sardine, yes that's right, that is a sardine, normally other ah. there okay. I'm only going to use it to minutes and not put more thought out, but um, this is basically how it goes here. Okay, so put the hook through the, the mouth, through the head. Okay, gently pull that through. And then sort of near the end of the tail, push the hook through. And then you pull the excess of the hook out. Make sure the hook is pronounced. Like that. Okay, bait is a little bit frozen. I'm gonna use a bit of cotton. Okay, so you grab your cotton over here. Ghost cotton is probably the best thing to use. Uh, you don't want to use too much, obviously, because uh, then you end up having a big cleanup job afterwards. Just at the very end of this thing, mate. Keep talking, dude. Okay, so anyway, well, I'm trying to find the end of this. Uh... <laughs> okay, guys, got my father. Look at the other side, mate. Yo. What?